want to start connecting the dots. We've talked about the lead lever, the trail lever, how they connect up at the armpit, how one moves the other, but how do we train to actually learn to hit a golf ball like that? Couple ways that I like seeing people do it. I don't mind people using one arm swings at very slow speeds and I like using the verbiage ankle high to ankle high. So the club is barely traveling above the ankle. I'm trying to maintain this flat left wrist or the, low, the arm itself staying ahead of the golf club. That'll give me a little bit more leverage as I'm going through the ball and the ground. We would do this at a slow speed and just check for the wrist position upon the completion. Slow speed, ankle high, and then switching hands, I'm going to push my wrist bone forward. I'm going to add a little softness to my trailing elbow. Remember this one needs to be able to bend and straighten after the ball. Bend, straighten after the ball. So when I get done, I should see this extension or bend back of the trailing wrist. Bend, extension, and there's a real nice solid compression. Learn it at slow speeds for starters. Once we get five balls with the left, five balls with the right, then we'll start joining the hands. If need be, take a tee out of your pocket, put it one under each armpit. Holding those tees in, that'll train these levers to repeat the same functions each time. Again, the purpose here is to hit the ground after the ball in a braced lowercase y position. Now I'll go knee high, knee high. I've got a nice little compression. As I grow this, I'm going to add speed. When we start to add speed, waist high to waist high, there might be 30 miles an hour. Chest high to chest high, might be 60 or 70 miles an hour. I've got to now increase the stress of my arms so that they don't collapse and fall apart. I've got to increase the pressure in my wrists so that they don't collapse. So as I increase speed, I'm increasing the arms squeezing together, the wrists holding back, and I'm increasing the pressure in my forearms and hands so that I don't self-destruct when I'm going through the ball. We learn this in step-by-step step or connect the dots. If we can't competently do knee high to knee high at 10 miles an hour, we're never going to do it at full speed with a driver. So dedicate 15 to 20 balls in your practice session to go knee high, knee high, check for your angles. As I chip one toward you, I'm simply looking for what does that geometry look like? Is it pointing at my ball target line? Do I have my lowercase letter Y? Right wrist being slightly bent back, left wrist being flat or slightly flexed. Super important checkpoint in your progression of your golf game.